It is fifth hour physics, and the target that we're working on today says that I can mathematically and graphically analyze the motion of an object moving with changing velocity. So this is a objective that we that takes a couple weeks for us to do, and um, what students are working on right now is creating a whiteboard. So I wanted to take a second and um, take a look at what they're currently working on. The last few minutes of class yesterday, they worked on completing Unit 3 Worksheet 2 and have a few different scenarios of a ball rolling down a ramp or rolling up a ramp. And I've assigned four different groups. Two of them are going to do problem three, which is this scenario, and two of them are going to do problem four, two separate groups. That will allow us to um, kind of compare our answers and possibly engage in some disagreements and argumentation. One of the boards that just was complete looks like this. The partner, the group that's also completing number, gentlemen, what number is this? Four. Number four, please write number four on it and your names. Um, the other group is out in the lobby finishing theirs, and they are just about out of time. So that should be going off any second. Looks like uh -huh. this group is just about finished with number three. So I'm going to head out to the lobby and tell the other two groups we are ready for our board meeting. Big reveal, number threes. Turn your boards around so we can take a look. All right, Sydney and Sky, why don't you guys start? Okay, so the ball was speeding up, yep. and then it sped up faster. So then that's pretty much what this is saying right here. Okay. Between 0 and 25, it's speeding up. Between 25 and 50, it continues to speed up, but it's going fa at a faster rate than here. And then, so we had that it started, it started, it sped up, so it did go positive, but it started slower and then it sped up more, so that's why we had our position time graph like that. Okay. Um, our velocity we did have was a constant line, but we don't really, we didn't really know if it should be like kind of changing. We just said it was speeding up in a positive direction because it went from zero to 25 to 50. Okay. And then the acceleration has to be positive because they have to have the same signs since it's speeding up. So speeding up means it has, they have the same signs. If it's slowing down, they have to be different. So if it was slowing down or acceleration, that would be speed up, but it's not. So. Okay. And then, yeah, that's basically it. All right, Trinity, you take the time and kind of explain your board. and positive because when this it has to be opposite of this if it's speed no slowing down or slow okay okay what questions you do you have for the two groups uh trinity your gra your acceleration graph shows that it is actually going negative so if they're both negative that means it's speeding up which aligns with Wait, no, 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 no. I looked on the wrong one. I think Eric's agreeing with you. No, no I'm agreeing, agreeing with you. You have your graphs laid out correctly. Wait, hold on. Oh, I do. I thought that was the one for some reason. Okay, Eric, say what you just said again. Yeah. Which part? Something about acceleration. Well, if it's... If accelerating both. both of the signs for velocity and acceleration have to be the same. Is it speeding up? Yes. Okay. So her graphs make sense. Because they're almost when the opposite. When compared to each other. Okay. I have a question though. Why is the velocity going in the negative direction? Because in your position time graph, it shows that it's getting faster and faster. Like it's going from zero to 50. Because. This is 
going in a negative direction. What do you guys think? Positive or negative direction? I think it's positive negative. because it still starts at zero. Okay. And it's still going it goes to, to a higher point. Wait, what side was positive? That side's positive. I, right? I know. I agree with the bent thing, though. I think ours should be bent, but I think it should be the op. I think yeah. it should be like this and then bent up like here. I think it's the color, like this, and then go up at a faster rate. Like steeper? Like that. just steeper? Yeah, not that steep. Okay. Steeper, like so. I think it probably should look like like that. Okay. And this one would be shorter too, right? Because it covers more distance. Maybe not. Yeah, Maybe yeah, I like that, stuff. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it sounds like the biggest difference is what between the two? The velocity, the velocity and the acceleration if they're positive or negative. So direction. So the direction. That's really the big disagreement is direction. So which is it, positive or negative? I think it's positive. Why? But it does look intentionally I misleading because it's moving yeah. away from zero. Yeah. Wait, wait. I thought it was what way the arrow's pointing. starting point. at zero, so I don't yeah, know how. That's what I thought. Unless it's going like to negative. So about the arrows pointing, what if you had just a straight line, and this said 10, and this said 0, and your arrows were going, okay, wait, let me rearrange that, 0 and 10, and your arrows were going that way, or, I don't know what I'm trying to say, I guess like, if it, is it a straight line, would you still yeah, say but that direction wouldn't, of the arrows? Yeah, but that wouldn't be direction, huh? would it? Huh? The numbers wouldn't matter for direction, would it? So you're saying it's negative because the arrows are going are pointing to the left, right? Yes. Yeah. So if okay, yeah, I had it right the first time. So if this was ten and this was zero was zero, would you say that's a, that's negative, just that straight line? It's yes, going in a negative think. direction. Numbers doesn't matter for the direction, does it? If you're starting it why you're still can you starting just it rephrase that maybe? maybe? I don't know how to word it. <laughs> Guys, so, what do you, so you would say starting, that that's in a negative direction. If the starting position is lower than the ending position, then it is going in a positive direction. If it's the other way around, Brandon, it's going to be Because the zero is smaller than the Hold on, the Eric, hold on. Can I get start over? Because I didn't hear you. If the starting position is lower than the final position that means going in a positive direction and the opposite is true for a negative direction so if zero which is smaller than 50 if it's going from zero to 50 it is moving in a positive direction I said like it, so if this number was 50 and this was right. 25 and this was zero then, then yeah it would be going in a negative direction but since it on the paper it says it starts at zero and moves distance, it would be going in a positive direction. So is that how you would measure it on, like if you were gonna put a meter stick on your ramp, you'd put the 50 at the top and zero at the bottom? No. No. Well, how would you get a negative with this setup then? If you start at a bigger number, I'm waiting for you guys. What do we think? It is positive. Okay, so it's four versus three. So I disagree. I don't care. It travels care. fifty centimeters. We've got that. That would be the distance. Yes. So it right. doesn't matter if it goes to the left or it moves to the right. It does. Final position minus the original position equals a positive number, meaning it went in a positive direction. If you had it the other way around, you would get a negative number, meaning it went in a negative direction. Okay, did that convince anybody that did think that it should be negative? Sure. Olivia, what do you think? I think it's positive. You think it should be positive? 
Haley, do you think it should be positive? Sure. Trinity, did they convince you enough? Yeah. Okay. And that's really the only difference is the positive and negative, right? Okay. Threes, turn your boards around. Fours, turn your boards around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 We missed that step. Okay, so, yeah, we missed that step. Okay, what'd you miss? Uh, we missed the part where it comes back down. It does come back down? Yeah, it says it in the instructions, but we ignored that part. Okay. So, we just so is there any... You, yeah, you just drew it on the motion map. Yeah, you, yeah. No, but this is the acceleration, because the acceleration oh, is going oh. backwards. But, but we, didn't, uh, we didn't realize that there was the second part there, so that would, great, that would alter several parts of this. Would ours be the same then? Well, I mean, it wouldn't really alter. We just have to add. Where's the red mark? It wouldn't change anything that you already have. Nope. Okay. Um, there. That's the only things that it would change. So it definitely speeds up when it comes back the other way. Yeah. Well, it speeds up. That I just don't have room. Okay. Otherwise, it would be like a mirror of the other side. Like that one. Yeah. Okay. Like a rainbow. Okay. So is there nothing that we disagree with? Acceleration. No, they have the same thing. No, they have little bumps here. No, they don't. Oh, okay, yeah, I was looking at it wrong. Okay, then never mind. Okay, so whose acceleration is correct? No, they're oh, the same. same. I just didn't see they're zero. We got all the other same they're answers. They're both underneath zero. Awesome. Okay, we, okay, okay, if okay. If we would have read the instructions correctly, we would have had identical answers. Okay, so what, Haley and Olivia, what do you guys think of their acceleration arrows? Because you guys only put the velocity arrows on yours. Would it change considering it goes back down? Like, anything about them? I agree with them, I think. Because we said that it's negative. Unless they're going the negative. I'm not saying it was wrong. I just was... Your question's a good one. The question is, should the acceleration arrows... Eric, we point those out for the video? Acceleration. Okay. As an A. Should those <laughs> change... When it goes the other way? No, no. Because acceleration is universal. If it was only going one direction, it would change, right? No. Like if it wasn't no, coming back they down, did it, they, if it only went up the ramp and it wasn't coming back down, that, that's that's the only the thought it was, was that it was only going up. It wouldn't change the acceleration at all because gravity, which is what is accelerating everything, is universal. It is always pulling down, so it's going to pull down the ramp. In this case, the acceleration is negative. Okay, so you have the ball only going up the ramp. We just need to draw the arrows going back down. Okay. So if I had the blue marker... Wait, wait, wait. I don't want you to draw it. That's why I was wondering. No, she said no. Don't draw it because we can compare just the up, and so your velocity is going to the left, but your acceleration is going to the right, so what should it do as it goes up the ramp? Slowing down. Okay. And then if you had put the velocity arrows, like the other group has over here, coming back down, so then they would both be pointing down. It would be speeding back up. Why? Because they're both the same sign, which is they're both negative. So if they're both negative, it's like they're adding together, and it's speeding up. All right, what you just missed was probably the best part of our uh, board meeting, and that was circling back to number three and talking about, nobody make any funny motions in the back. Um, the difference in how both boards for number three could be correct and we talked about uh, the difference between distance and displacement and what a vector has to have direction wise and that could be either positive or negative it could be left or right or it could be like cardinal directions east and west and you'll notice on the cards and I scanned two on each thing up here that they have the position the velocity the acceleration and then at the bottom there's a motion map Okay, because they can get kind of confusing, I thought we'd make our own match set. So I started by putting the velocity up here. Um, Eric, will you take the first one? If the velocity looked like that, is it the positive or negative direction? 
positive. Okay, how do you know? Because it's on the positive side. Because it's on the positive side. Is that showing up, Joe? No, a little bit, no. A little bit. I'm going to try a different color. Let's try yellow. That blue. will show up. No, it's nope. still, you need a darker still like color. an orange color. You're blue. I should have scanned white. We'll make it work. All right, so I agree. The velocity is positive. Describe the velocity. Constantly increasing. Constantly increasing. So the object would be getting faster. Faster. All right. So let's say that it starts at zero for the position. What will happen with my slope if it's got to get faster? It's going to increase. So it's going to get faster, 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 faster. Yep. Okay. Go ahead and do that on both white lines on your first cars. Cut them into four pieces. What is six oh. times four? 24. You're going to have 24 cards, and I want you to put them back together with each thing that goes together. Does that make sense? So then we're not looking yeah. at the, we're not supposed to be looking at Well, it's at your that. solution guide. Like, I so want you to know if you... need to? Yeah, if you need to, you'll know, oh, I got them all right. These are all going to be different? Yeah. Like, there's no way that we could possibly mix them up with the... Well, a couple of them might be the same, but you'll know why. <laughs> all right, Eric, you got one more. Actually, you got two more. So strong. Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, so the acceleration is going to be positive, so it's just a straight line across on the positive side. It doesn't really matter where. Okay, that's not super straight. Okay. Is it and what will the velocity arrows look like? Assume it's starting at zero. They're going to get further apart, or the arrows are going to get longer. Okay. Okay, I am so confused. The no, velocity arrows are getting big. The acceleration arrows are going to stay the same. What are you confused about, Ted? I'm confused about the dots and the arrows. I thought that you know the dots were always connected to the arrows, not just a, like a random dot by itself, or like a dot at the end. I don't know. That's just confusing. I guess. Can you maybe? Well, the starting and stopping points is what those dots are. The dots are where it's at each second. So yeah, after a she's second, talking about the first dot and the last dot that don't have an arrow connected to it. Yeah. Uh, because the first at time equals zero. Oh, that was not a dot. That has no, that has no arrow. arrow. Yeah, like when you first let go of the ball down the ramp, that very first spot that it's at won't have an arrow. What about the last one, though? I don't have enough room to keep going with my dots and my arrows. Oh. I don't, I don't think, think that's a dot. dot. I think it the arrow. That's not a dot on the end. Oh, okay. That's my arrow. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I, I don't know. I, 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 it's, I don't know why I'm getting so confused about arrows. Okay. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Because you're confused. 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 You gotta write the lines. So if the first the lines <laughs> I'm sorry. So if the first dot has no motion, how can it have acceleration? Acceleration is constant. So she had the oh wait, you did have the dot before. Huh? Acceleration is a constant. But if it's not moving, how can it be accelerated? Because accelerated. there's always a force acting on it. Acceler gravity which causes acceleration in most cases is always there. So it's always going to be pulling on it. Okay. No, that's a good question, and I'm glad you asked it, because not everybody else is willing to say it out loud, but they're thinking the exact same thing. All right, the velocity arrow doesn't, or the first velocity dot doesn't have an arrow, but the acceleration does. What do we notice about all of the acceleration they're arrows? They're all the same. They're all the same. They're all congruency the same. line. What? You got to write a congruency line, so you know. I should. And what causes acceleration? Gravity, in most Gravity. cases. Sometimes it's something else. Sometimes you can have something push it really fast, and that will make it accelerate even more. You can make your car accelerate, and that's your gasoline in your engine that's making it accelerate. But how does it go um, from, in the next paper that we'll do, I think it'll become clear. How does it go from not moving to having some speed? Going downhill. 
presumably. Okay, but what causes that? What Gravity. causes it? The, the acceleration, acceleration does. Yep. All right, Joe, will you switch with Eric? And Sky, will you take the next card? I've already done the velocity one for you. Um, dang it. Um, so, so describe to me what is happening with the velocity. So it starts up and then it is, I don't know, decreasing. Okay, so the velocity is decreasing. So it starts on position, it would start up. And it's, and it's a diagonal, not straight, so it'd be going like a, a swoopy thing. A swoop, can you draw the swoopy yeah. thing? <laughs> Okay, so using my slope meter it goes from being fast or really steep to less steep, less steep, less steep. Okay? Which direction would it be going? This thing is kind of cool. Huh? Which direction would it be going? What do you mean? According to the swoopy thing that you just drew, <laughs> is it moving in the positive direction or the negative direction? Negative. The negative direction. Okay. Which direction is this? Negative. Oh, wait, positive. It's positive. So, okay, wait a minute. How does that make sense? Erase your swoopy. I don't know how to, okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so we can do this together. Is there a way that we can still have our slope meter get more steep, more steep or less steep? Less, less steep. Less steep. Yeah. But so it starts in the start positive. Here? But yeah. it starts in the positive direction, because it starts at this, so doesn't that mean that it starts no, it up, means it starts up here? We can just go, sorry, we can do it like this way. Like that. So Sydney's got a new swoopy for you. Yeah. I agree with Sydney's too. Like that. So positive. Or not quite that much. Not quite that far. Yeah. Okay, so it starts steep. So if it's going this way, that's the positive direction? Yeah. So steep, less steep, less steep, less steep. But isn't this zero? Yeah. Zero what? Seconds. Oh, uh, what's velocity? Zero seconds? What's velocity measured in? Um, meters per second. Meters per second. So this is zero meters per second. Oh, so it's not zero meters. Okay. That means it stopped. So as Joe just said, really fast here, stopped here. How do you go from being really fast? Oh, to being stopped. So we've got half of our rainbow. No, but doesn't it start up at the position and then drop down to the timeline? Ah, uh, Scott, can you hand it to Haley? Don't erase the first one, but she'll draw what you're talking about. Wait, what is what? So is that right? Is that what you write on our card? Like that. Okay, so let's talk about what's happening there. That would be a negative. That would be negative direction. And what's happening with our slope meter? It's getting <laughs> steeper. It's getting steeper. So that means it's. I was thinking it the stops. Like it's that stop. means it's speeding up. Yeah. yeah, use the back arrow. And then hand it back to Sky. Okay. So good, good one, Haley. And that is going like to be one that we're going to do. <laughs> okay. All right, scroll up, Sky. Okay. All right, velocity was positive or negative? It was positive. Okay, and it's the object speeding, speeding up or slowing down. Mm, slowing slowing down, down, so this would have to be, uh, that's not very straight. If you press and hold it as you drag it across, it will make it a straight line for you. If you what? Like if you press do, draw the line if you draw the and on. then hold it here, it will oh. straighten your line for you. Maybe. <laughs> <It's so laughs> <funny. laughs> Try it again. Hey! It's okay. a little crooked, but. Okay. Okay. All right, where um, did we start? At zero. Okay, start at zero. With a long arrow or a short arrow? A long arrow. Is it connected to the dot? It wouldn't be, right? Are you starting stopped? Go back to your velocity graph. Yes. Are you start here is stopped. Zero meters per second. No, you're not. Okay, so you start with a long arrow. 
Somehow it, you can make it make an arrow for you, but I'm not sure how to do that. It's not making my line straight. <laughs> and then do one that's shorter. It's just an arrow. Okay, and then make one, two, three. Huh? Like your acceleration? 